What's a pretty young girl like yourself doing in a dingy place like this? To see you. <laughs> Hello beautifuls, this is Aroma here and welcome to a freaking new series. We are here with another non-demo game that the developer gave me to play their game. Um, this game is called That Which Binds Us. The storyline is quite interesting. You're a girl named Evelise, I believe. Or Evelise, I don't know how to pronounce. I try to even look it up on Google before I start playing the game. There's no pronunciations. There's only people pronouncing Eva, which I already knew how to pronounce because I had a friend named that in high school. But anyway, you're playing as this main girl right here, trying to buy a bond out for her boyfriend. I don't know the whole wording and such like that because I've never done that before. So anyway you meet a guy and he gives you he asks you a question like what if he can erase your boyfriend's entire memory of you which i why, i wonder why you would choose that but maybe it's for the better or something i don't know but the boyfriend is a bad troublemaker so we're gonna start with this game because i'm quite interested i don't know how this is gonna play out waitress hey excuse me yes <laughs> i'm here here she comes you don't have to yell. How else will she know we're ready to order? Oh, I thought I was a waitress. Can't sit here all day or else her lunch break might get short tomorrow. Like, get, get cut short tomorrow. He is getting a bit cranky nowadays. Yeah, did you see how he snapped at that new girl the other day? Like, right in front of a customer, just because she screwed up her engine shoes. I don't think that customer stayed long after that. So I guess this is our best friend here, Sierra. About like eight or nine months ago, right before you started working, he had a huge tipper tantrum with a girl and she quit right on the spot. It's a wonder he's still a manager. Ugh, and I'm closing tonight with him. I hope he doesn't lean over while I'm closing the registers. If he does, it's harassment. I just can't count all those ones with someone watching that closely. Oh, I thought she meant lean over, like trying to like be all up on her touching her. Sorry, that are the worst. I had to close with him the other night. Not fun. Thankfully, I get off at five tonight. Oh, does someone have plans? She starts stirring this, the straw in her glass, eyes completely on the moon. Maybe. I might be able to convince Steven, Steven, right? <laughs> to take me to the movies tonight. There's a new thriller that just came out. Her eyes rolling are a clear sign that I should have eaten lunch alone. Him? Really? I would have figured you've dumped him already. Why don't you bother talking about anything personal? I'll get a raise before she learns to mind her own business. No, we're still together. I guess you have a thing for bad boys. I guess some people have no tact. He's nice. I heard you in the break room arguing with him over the phone a couple of weeks ago. Can we not? And she wonders why I usually go just go to work and don't hang out with coworkers. I think that applies to a lot of us. Like we have some friends at work and then we have a job where you don't make any friends, AKA me, I don't make any friends at work. <laughs> just go there to make money. Your point? Gosh, get some self-respect. Find a better guy. You're about to find another lunch partner. He's fine, really. I can only stare at my glass while I say that, though. Oh, I get it, ex-con. You're apprehensive about dumping him, right? Damn, I hate it when she does that. What if he comes after me? He's obviously not afraid of going back to jail. Well, don't worry, my boyfriend's a lumberjack and could take 20 of him. She always keeps talking until she gets something the least bit right. Of course, she does love talking. How is he doing? He got promoted recently, right? Oh, he loves it. Bill says he gets to work more in the mills while also doing less heavy lifting. He loves the hands-on part of the lumber mill, but his chiropractor doesn't. She loves talking, but even more than that, she loves talking about her life. Uh, but he's been having to work late nights some nights. There's been some shady dudes hanging around after dark. Just the other week, they had someone try to break into one of their locked storage sheds on site. Of course, Phil caught him since he was making rounds that night. So is she not my best friend? Because the way that I'm talking about Sierra is like, she's just a co-worker that I'm just hanging out with to kill time. <laughs> but seriously, things have gotten rough around here lately too. Oh, uh, lately. Too much crime. These gangs have gotten really ambitious. You should be more careful when walking home at night. I know I don't go without Phil. I doubt anyone dealing with organized crime is a petty that thief. But she is right, even petty thieves have gotten more ambitious. That's my phone ringer. Who's calling me? Excuse me. Sierra watches me. Oh, okay. It is Sierra. 
I thought I said some other name. Sarah watches me suspiciously as I step away from the table. But, hey, honey. Are you using coworker's phone? No, well, you see, the funny thing is, I was at work, but then... You're in jail again, aren't you? Look, I don't need you to patronize me. I just need you to bail me out. But I... I know you've got some money stashed away somewhere. What kind of boyfriend is this? Cause girl, girl, you better drop him. I'm dropping this boy toy. Sorry, shaking microphone. I, I have some money in the bank for emergencies. To him, this would count as one. Of course, I could always wait until my next payday. All right, I'll go get a bail bond. No, I'm not. Just staying in there. Something up? D nothing. I hate that smirk. Oh, please, I heard it all. Damn it. If you hurry, you can get one filled out before our break is over. What? It takes like a few hours at least. No, no, there's this really good bail bond store a few blocks away. And how do you know about it? My brother was stuck in jail for a bit after he took a weed whacker to his girlfriend's car when he found out it was a gift from her boyfriend. Wait, what? That didn't make sense. Wait, her brother took a weed whacker to his girlfriend's car because it was a gift from her boyfriend. AKA that means she cheated. <laughs> That's so confusing. But yeah, if you use that place, you'll be able to get him out and not be late for work. All right. Of course you could always leave him there. Bye, Sierra. No, no, I would prefer to leave him there. Really? You're going to that crappy job fair or whatever? It's not a job fair. Then what else is, is to it? Look, I just wanted to go to it, okay? Fine, I've got friends I'm meeting up with them. Uh, meeting up with them anyway at the movies. I thought we were going to the movies next week. Yeah, we were. Then we got our priorities in order. Is that an old conversation? Here it is. It's kind of small, but I guess you don't need a big store to sell bail bonds. The office doors are bit blinds are closed. Behind them, I can hear someone faintly talking. There must already be a client back there. I shouldn't eavesdrop, but. Are you sure that's it? It's done? Trust me, he won't be pestering you any longer. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here, it's a little more than we talked about, but it's the least I can do. And thank you very much. Well, if you have anyone else bothering you, you know where I'll be. They're getting up. Whew. I don't think they noticed I was by the door. She must be the client. Well, she didn't even look at me. All business, I guess. I mean, why would she look at you? I think she feels ashamed to be here. He's rather cute. Hey, cutie. What's a pretty young girl like yourself doing in a dingy place like this? To see you. <laughs> I I need to get get the get a get a bail bond for my boyfriend. Ah, gone in car uh, incarcerated love? Sure, come on in. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. Alright, name? Uh, Evelise, 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 Adams. You know, I never introduced myself to you, Miss Evelise. I'm Idris Witcher. But, but most people call me the bondsman. Let's see, age? 26. Female. I've got to get the paperwork completely right. Yes. Job? Retail clerk. What's your boyfriend's name? Steven Aaron. What's he in for? Shoplifting. Like, how much shoplifting? It's not his first charge, and he was shoplifting some expensive wine, and... Alright, I get it, he's an idiot. He's not. He's making his girlfriend post bail for him while he goes and does whatever he wants because he knows you're there to bail him out. Why are you even with these with this sleaze bag? You deserve better than this. I'm here for a bail bond, not relationship advice. I'm trying to give you a bond deal if you'll listen if you'll just listen. I typically sell bail bonds to people who have family and friends in jail or in prison, but I also do another type of bond work. How would you like it if I could get you out of this relationship scot free? And that is like the main point of this game. What? Let me phrase it more clearly. How would you like it if I made him completely forget about you? You can keep on living your normal life while he'll stay in jail like he should. If someone mentions you to him or even, heaven forbid, you bump into him, he won't remember anything about you even if you talk to him. You can erase a person's memory of someone else. Just like that? Can you also do it to me? How much will that cost? <laughs> Just like that. How? With this. A knife? A butter knife? Uh, don't worry, I won't use it on you. Yet. It's a family heirloom, passed on from generation to generation. All I need is a strand of hair from the person, a photo of them, and your arm. Oh, my arm. Or hand, or back, wherever, really. 
not my arm. <laughs> so you just cut me and that's it? Well, to be more specific, I have to slice a strand of hair and a photo for the person you want to forget about you. And then I have to make a small cut on your skin. He cuts both of them? It's a permanent mark. The scar won't fade with time. But you can always use makeup to cover it up. It's a permanent mark? You better do it on my back. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be someone people can easily see. It just has to be skin. But it does have to be deeper than a, oh, deeper than a paper cut. And longer than an inch. Any less than that and you run the risk of it not working. And I like to strive for efficiency. Yeah, you're doing it on my back, bro. So, what do you say? It's a lot to take in. You probably don't believe me. To be honest, not really. If this was real life, I would be like, nah, you just want to cut me. <laughs> How about you go home, sit down, and think it over? I can't go home. I gotta go back to work. Then in the morning, come back to me. I'll have the bail bond ready to fill out if you want to get him out of jail. Or I could take him out of your life forever in even less time. But then I'll be single. Who am I supposed to fall in love with? This is an atomi, is it not? His smirk is a bit unnerving. He's either a great actor, or... Is it permanent? Mostly. The memories can resurface if you try to make them remember. But like I said, if you accidentally meet him, even have a small conversation, for him that'll be like bumping into any stranger on the street. Is it permanent, or is it? You said mostly. It's not fully permanent. If you really wanted to, you could reverse it. Spend time with him, ask him about the past, make him remember. So it's permanent as long as you want it to be. Will I forget about him? No. You'd only forget about him if I did the same to him. Any more questions? How much is it? How does it work? Can I save? Oh, thank God. Um... Okay, I have like four minutes left. He already actually told us how it works. So I think, how much is it? Well, I'm the one who brought it up, so let's not worry about it. It'd be a lot cheaper than a bail bond. How about that? That's the m that's not the most reassuring. Hmm. Any more questions? Yes, I guess. Uh, I guess we can go. How does it work? Well, I don't exactly know how it works. It just does. It's not like you can easily look through a register and find all the owners of a magic knife. Probably because they don't exist in the first place. Nope. That's all the questions. This is a bit much to take in. <laughs> You're silent. You're thinking. How quickly can I make it to the door? Well, he's not wrong. Go home, watch the news tonight, think about it. Maybe you'll start believing me after that. Watch the news, for what? Think about it. He was probably trying to pull a con on me, wondering if someone would actually be stupid enough to think a knife could do all that. I bet he targets just anybody who looks pathetic in his eyes. Oh, sweetie, you could do so much better with me. You deserve better than this. It is a bit enticing, not having to worry about an ex, not having to worry about him coming back by here. I can't believe I'm actually considering this crap. He spoon-fed me what I wanted to hear. I grab the remote on the ta table and turn on the TV. Wonder if the gang's got into any more war or turf wars. This is just in. Mayor Roberto Menio, Menio has been deemed unfit to serve the rest of his term due to alleged money laundering. His secretary, Mar Marlicia Smith, states that his mental health has been declining for weeks and finally reached its breaking point this morning. I came into work this morning. He just started yelling at me, saying he never had a secretary and that I'd run ruin his plans. That That's the woman I saw leaving the bond shop at lunch. His behavior reportedly became so erratic, he would let words slip. He had been laundering money from his office over the past few months. Mayor Menio, Menio, Menio is currently being held under house arrest, pending an investigation into the full details of the matter. Yelling at her, saying he didn't know her, that he had forgotten about her. This is what he wanted me to see. Idris? Idris is... Amazing, he has powers. Come in, and the next episode we're gonna come in. Anyway, this is it for that which binds us. So far, it does sound interesting. We already got the main gist of the whole like intro of the game, which our boyfriend is a horrible troublemaker. We don't know what it looks like. He just is our hero savior. For I don't think we have a choice whether to just pay the bond off or to do this magical knife thing. I think we're just gonna have to go through the magical knife thing. She told me there was like an end 
but it's not an actual N, it's just the end of a prologue. I, I don't remember. The email was months ago, so I'm very sorry. But thank you for giving me the game, and I cannot wait to play it. So thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this.